Oh boy, they got a picnic table. They got a shady bench. This is where I'm going to kick back. Hey, look at these lupines here. It's a nice little thing in here. Nice little garden. It's a windy day. It's a good day to tour the museum. Eighteen ninety six. Typewriters, computer. Maybe it's better to do this this way. Here, that's what I can do. Alright, let's see. Here somewhere. Union County. Shoe fitting stools. Huh. E. Famous trails. Look at these uh, Indian grindstones here. But you don't need to know the title. Did you know they're going to get it? You don't have much money to Wow, what a hotel. Silver certificate dollar. Look how big the thing is. Must be the uh, post office. Man, that, that's a big pot belly stove right there. That's heavy duty. We got the rotary. We got the digital. We got the old time switchboard.
some kind of lantern. This is the town of Folsom. Hot Belly Stove, center of many cracker barrel discussions. Numerous world and national problems were left unsolved. This was heat for the entire building. Wow. It's a big one. There's another one. This is a fancy one. Rain seed fanning. Look how they got ten on that column right there. Or is that a chimney? I don't know. All right, this is a uh, Star Brand Shoes Bench. I guess that's first. Fitting on time, try no shoes, huh? All right, Brand and Irons. Now, what is that kind of harness for? Harness used by Jim Short. On Johnson Mesa. Shotgun chips. Look at that mask. Here's the old mule collar mirror. Ah! Get the squeaking floor, wooden floor. Yeah. Swat stick of coal. <laughs> that had to be uh, pre-1930. Well, maybe it was uh, a fan of Hitler's. All right, sheep branders. All right. Grab and hoe. Corn grinder. These look like a monkey wrench, alligator wrench, old Tammy wrenches, John Deere plows. Okay. And what we got here? New Mexico. Another pot belly stove. Washboards, all kinds of barbed wire. I didn't know there were so many cans. And look at this, what is this right here? Muzzle loading gun. Okay, got a player, a chamber pot. This would be the laundry area. Look at these uh, sad irons. Sad irons. Got a nerve press, wooden bowl, tabletop cabinet, biscuit board. Oh boy. Hey, look at the uh, dinner table, wooden stove. Uh, tin kitchen safe, they call it. The tin keeps the bugs and critters out. Look at that uh, homemade tub right there. I guess it's homemade. Here's some kind of kerosene stove. This would be an ice box. Look at this, uh, this mixer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, we got a hand painted plate. Coffee meal. Roadrunner tray. Blue enamel coffee pot. Coffee pot. Let's see now, what do you call the stove here? Look at this. Pretty cool, huh? 
Alright, the air of the kitchen stove. Stove lifter. This is a dairy daisy churn. Daisy churn. Huh. Alright, sewing machines. Kinds of bottles. Look how fancy these things were painted. You had an oak cabinet. George McGunkin, the Folsom Cowboy. According to everyone who knew him, George McGunkin could ride, rope, shoot, play fiddle, and guitar. Blacksmith with the best. All right. Here's a buffalo skull. All right, the Folsom man was the one that was killed by, there we go, it's a National Geographic here. All right, Folsom man Hello. lived in the air around Caputulin and utilized the mesas and canyons to the west for hunting. Maybe he witnessed the eruption of Caputulin, Caputulin. All right, there it is right there. That's the arrow that broke the buffalo bison. Bison. Okay, these are the big, the big buffaloes. In 1926, evidence of the Folsom Man was discovered now. Folsom, New Mexico, dating from around 8800 8, B.C. Folsom Man spent most of his time hunting small game and edible plants. Big game hunting occurred only when the herds of bison were close by. These bison were much larger than today's buffalo and were important, an important food source for a prehistoric man. Rock skull formation. All right. Ammonite. Wow. That's a big one. All right, let's check out the ladies' clothes here. The bishop's robe. All right. Man. Do you look at the size of those shoes? Yeah, These things are monsters. Huh? They have the rest the That's Bigfoot shoes right there. You know, All right. Saddles to satellite. It's about eight pounds right Oh, George McGunkin oh, was a no, black no, fellow. No, How about that? Look at this uh, ladder. Runs along this track here to get the items yeah, off the top shelf. Look how thick this door is. It's so a thick wall right there. Wow, they got a 
They got a safe, a walk-in safe here. She hasn't got any gold back here. X-ray machine. Man, look at this thing. Strap you on there, don't they? All right, this is a. Uh, this is, looks like a uh, power generator right here. Wind charger and box. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, that's a Cracker Jack box. Look how big it is. Pardon? I was talking, talking oh. about this Cracker Jack, cracker yeah. jack box. I think it's some pretty those, big, isn't it? Some of those were down in the cellar. Uh huh. And we brought them up and just put them together. So yeah. They didn't. Uh, On the displays, there's nothing in it. Uh huh. The ones that you buy now are considerably smaller than that, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I got a 10 cent Coke with the. Uh, yep with the handle there to release the bottle. Yeah, both of those are done in the face. I remember going to the store and getting Cracker Jacks. And they had better prices. This is Folsom Post Office. It's got a tin roof and tin sides. The tail of two cinder cones. This one is naked. And the other one, you can barely see it, has Vegetation. 